The brother has asked a question, what does it mean only pure can touch a Quran? And anybody can buy a Quran from the store and touch it. The brother is asking a question. The Quran says uh, only pure can touch a Quran, but uh, if anyone can go to a store like a non Muslim, they can just buy a copy of a Quran and then they can touch it and they can do whatever they want with it. Even you see a lot of uh, videos where with the Astaghfirullah Quran being destroyed by the non-Muslims and out of Wahid and all that. The Quran is talking about um, the only the pure people can only the pure can touch the uh, Quran. So Allah is referring to the Quran which is being preserved in um, in in his tablet, which is very preserved and not a shayatin can touch it so that is what Allah is mentioning about it because in one of the hadiths if you know that the the shaitan used to go um, to get the revelation and try to get the um, hidden message and uh, the angels used to be the the shayatins with the fire um, and then the shaitan used to go back to the earth and they couldn't get any message out of that so that is being preserved and that is being protected by the angels and that is uh, we're talking about in the, in the tablet that the only pure can touch it because the, the message is being not referred to the earth because in the earth we know that any non-muslim can touch it and anybody can um, touch it they can just simply buy a copy from the from the from the bookstore and they can touch it and the astaghfirullah we have seen in ma many videos that uh, that the non-muslims they hate islam they're being uh, destroying the copies of the quran so this is like contradicting when when somebody reads the quran they'll say why allah is saying there's only pure touch a quran and here people are destroying the qurans so allah is referring to the original scripture that was being revealed that is being preserved in the tablet in the earth and that is with allah and the angels are protecting that copy